Today I'm going to talk about the routine before the serve. The routine before the serve is really important. It helps you to get ready for the serve, take your time, and execute everything correctly. While you're doing the routine, you can remember the key points that you need to do for your serve at that exact moment, and check out the positioning of your opponent, and so on. On most tournaments, you don't have a chair umpire or even a person that watches the court, so it's really important to come to the line and see if your opponent is ready. It doesn't matter if you have a referee for the match or no. In general, it's a good habit to every time that you come up to the baseline to make sure that your opponent is ready to return. The other thing is uh, to take kind of your time, your motion before, before you start your serving motion to have some other movements. Like for example, you can bounce the ball, you can stop, or you can just like, just watch, stay still for a second whatever works for you. Your routine doesn't have to be very long, but again, don't make it too short. Try to avoid the situations where you just take a ball, come up and serve immediately. The same goes for the time that you take between your first and second serve. So for example, if you missed your first serve, if the ball's in the net, remove the ball, come back to the baseline and start it all over. It's like a new start. Don't rush to serve the second serve, all right? Take your time. Also, part of the routine should be the decision making of where you're gonna serve. So you kind of make up your mind. Try not to give away your direction because we tend to create habits, like for example, to look at a place where you're gonna serve. Like for example, if you look down the tee, and the opponent notice it, and then you serve down the tee, then they will know that wherever you look, that's where you're gonna serve. Try to catch these things when you're doing your routine and see if anything in your motion actually gives away the direction where you're gonna serve. Especially if you're a big server and you rely on your serve and you ace. If you don't rely on your baseline game, so, and you really want to like make the serve count, you kind of have to make sure that there's nothing in your motion and in your preparation for the serve that gives away the direction that every time you do the routine the absolute same way it doesn't matter which direction you serve so keep that in mind when you play your next match i'm going to show you a couple examples of professional tennis players doing their pre-serve routine this is an example of Daniil Medvedev. His preparation is pretty simple. He just comes up to the baseline, bounces the ball a couple times, and he's ready to serve. On the other hand, if we look at Rafael Nadal, you can see that his preparation is more complicated. He has his unique routine before the serve. But all tennis players have some things in common, and that is coming up to the baseline, stopping, then looking at your opponent, before you start to serve. Here I'm gonna show you how all the players stop and look at their opponents before they start their serving motion. This is one of my favorite examples where you can see the player kiss the balls before he starts to serve. They do all it takes to prepare their body to execute a perfect serve because a perfect serve requires a lot of focus and concentration. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.